So thanks for such a beautiful story and very, in, very inspiring story that you have gone through the process of starting from it from scratch and now coming up to um, having, you know, instituted such an educational organization and it has benefited to many of the Nagas people here. So thanks for such a contribution. And now I would love to know um, what do you think, you being a theologian at the same time educationist, how do you think um, Naka, the practice of Christianity among the Nagas are going? Do you think we're going in the right direction? Or is there any field or area of improvement that we need as a Christian here in Nagaland? Or let's say the Nagas in general? Well, if you are talking about the current situation, uh, no, it doesn't look good mm -hmm. at all. Mm -hmm. No, I think it looks like we need another reformation. Mm -hmm. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. See, the, the, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's almost like now Nagas are following Americans. Mm -hmm. See, the, the Americans brought Christianity yeah. to us, yeah. okay, in 1872. The owls were the first yes. to receive that message. Mm -hmm. All right, yes, and 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 you could see in those days, men and women of vision brought the gospel to us. Mm. And then what happened was in the late 1930s and early 1940s, you see, there were liberals less committed missionaries came, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know. So, so the, the Christianity began to deteriorate okay. from in the 40s, mm -hmm. right at the time the Second World War began. Okay. That doesn't mean they were not godly people, no, right. of course not. So why, why did you say they were liberal Christians and less communist? Well, well, the thing is, they were <laughs> more, more, you know, come as kind of for enjoyment in the sense of <laughs> they were they may be educated, education in education, mm. but it's a sort of social gospel. Mm. Mm -hmm. See, the emphasis on Christ, salvation, mm -hmm. seeing salvation and Christ mm -hmm. as the savior of this world. Now, these are very, very important. Mm -hmm. And of course, even myself, I could feel, I say I'm a product of Jorhat. Mm -hmm. I came in contact with missionaries very early, mm -hmm. in 1940, as early as 1948. Mm -hmm. I, I grew up in the village church, right? okay? And I was baptized when I was about um, uh, 13, 14 years old, yeah. 13, 14, okay? Uh, which I found out I wasn't a Christian True. when I was baptized, True. okay? Of course, I wouldn't do naughty things, mm -hmm. definitely. Because that somehow, somewhere, even in the 40s, see, even the village pastors also, many of them were only, they were good people, mm -hmm. but it's social gospel basically. Mm -hmm. No evangelism, that's what I meant to say. Mm -hmm. So my pastor said, you young people now, you are now teenagers, yeah. see, you are all, you know, and, uh, and, and you need to be baptized now. Mm -hmm. So, uh, let me ask you a question. Would you steal? Would you cheat? Would you lie? Mm -hmm. What is that? Yeah. That's not evangelism. True. So you could say that. And we say, oh, no, no. We, are, we wouldn't do that. Yeah. I wouldn't do a thing like that. Mm -hmm. I say, I, I used to steal my mother's uh, uh, dr uh, dry fish, mm -hmm. you know, a cap in a basket above our fireplace. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't do that anymore, mm -hmm. you know. That kind of, but mm -hmm. otherwise, nothing bad about it. Say, next Sunday, you'll be baptized. Mm -hmm. And we were baptized, and of course, being Baptist, you yeah. know, grew up in Baptist home, we were baptized by immersion. Yes. Only when I went to Jorhat, then I came to realize I was just a good fellow. Villagers thought, you know, I was I would never miss any prayer meeting, any Sunday service, mm. you know, all kinds of... In other words, I was, I was zealous without knowledge, really. Mm -hmm. You know, I was zealous. Mm -hmm. I, would, I would never miss, you know, True. prayer meeting, True. so on and so forth. Anything religious, I would be there. True. But I didn't have 
personal relationship with Jesus Christ. That was the problem, mm -hmm. which I found out when I went to Chorhan 1947, mm -hmm. 1948, to study class, to begin studying class seven. Wow. It was during this time, see, I think it was actually in class nine, see, I was a chokitar of the local church there. Well, as a student. As a student, yes. Oh. Yes, yes. I used to clean. I wanted some pocket money mm -hmm. for my, to prepare my chutney, you see. I miss, uh, and I didn't have enough money. Mm -hmm. So I was, first I was used to sweep and then didn't get enough money. So there's one Tanku fellow who was a chokidar. He gave me when he left, when he finished his study, Peter Walling. Mm -hmm. Walling. And, uh, and so after that, <clears throat> And I got in, I got more, four rupees a month. Very happy. Second year, mm -hmm. I got eight rupees, so I was very happy. Mm -hmm. I got enough money with me. So at that time, I used to go and uh, clean the church, and I would ring the bell Sunday. I would put the hymn books. After the service, I would clean up and mm -hmm. put the collect and so on. That's mm -hmm. what I used to do. Mm -hmm. And in the meantime, on Sundays, I would attend Dr. Cook's principal's uh, uh, glad tithing Sunday school class. Okay. And that's where he told us about what sin was, who Jesus was, mm -hmm. what salvation was. Mm -hmm. Then I realized, I'm not. Mm -hmm. In fact, it was our fellow mm -hmm. who really, whose life really touched me. Mm -hmm. He was always on his knees okay. there. He was a Bible college student mm -hmm. there. And uh, so, so, I, so you're saying that those characteristics, characteristics of knowing Christ in relationship with Christ is being absent in a general Christian's lives among yeah, the us. That, that, that is a pattern. Yeah, that, pattern. And then, as I say, this, this, not, this social preacher, social gospel preacher, mm -hmm. more came later on. Mm -hmm. And they came to Nagaland also. Early pioneers to Nagaland were evangelical, top-notch evangelical, right, right. they were the top. And our Christian leaders, pioneers, they were also very committed leaders. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, mm -hmm. Dankul included, ours definitely, mm -hmm. they were the first one. So there's no doubt about that. Then, it says, then of course, after the war, Nagas were exposed, you know, to the world, and, and all kinds of, you know, modern, uh, Yes. conveniences and gadgets and what have you. And so uh, I think that that was part of the problem. Mm -hmm. So the early discipline was not kept up. Mm -hmm. I think that was the problem. Mm -hmm. uh, but anyway, there were a lot of people there who were evangelical, including this old fellow, Mr. Rickham. And uh, it was that I condemned him for his prayer. Mm -hmm. I say, he should work like me if you want money, mm -hmm. see. And that night, I came to know Christ, you see. Mm -hmm. I was going to pray. What for? Mm -hmm. I didn't know the Lord. Right. And so I say, Tristan, you're going to pray, you know, what? you condemn the one who was praying this morning. Right. So I asked to ask God to forgive me mm -hmm. for condemning this friend. Mm -hmm. And then I asked the Lord to come into my heart and cleanse me for my sin. Mm -hmm. That's the night I believe I became a Christian. Mm -hmm. So Jorhat is a precious place. Mm -hmm. And Dr. Cook, I call him my uh, the, uh, spiritual father. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. Now, if you were, to reborn, you, you were to be reborn as a child, so how would you like your life to start with? And what would you like to do in your life? Now that you are 91 years old, Imagine you were to be reborn. How would your life to be like? What would you like to do in life? Well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, things certainly would be different. Mm -hmm. As a result, mm -hmm. you know, I wouldn't have a. I would have a better education. Mm -hmm. I didn't have a good education. But you're still one of the most educated citizens among the Nagas. No. But you uh, still think that you need, you, you, you uh, could have got oh, more yeah, education? Oh yeah, that, we didn't learn anything. <laughs> I had a slate, right. played a slate uh, with a frame, you know, uh, with a chalk, you will write, pencil, you will write there. That's all. 
no textbook. That's how we learn ABC, you see, which broke right away in a week because I fell and I put a string around to put the two pieces together. That's how we started. Now, my teacher, two of them, only study up to class two, yeah. or what, two, uh, class four. Mm -hmm. uh, one, uh, my headmaster was study up to class eight. Mm -hmm. That, 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 yeah, you, yeah. so you can imagine right. how much we got from that. Right. Of course, God's grace was always there. True. God's grace, True. I, uh, True. something that we learn, we didn't forget, I guess. Uh, so, would you still be a theologian or educationist if you were to restart your whole life again and well, study harder, or what profession you might pursue? Well, I, I, I don't know. Of course, I would yeah. be. <laughs> we are, as the Lord leads, yes. definitely. Mm -hmm. As the Lord leads, mm -hmm. definitely. Mm -hmm. and so, so I, I never knew I would end up here. Yes. Never, ever, mm -hmm. never. I knew I would be teaching in a theological college, mm -hmm. or maybe it, as director of uh, or secretary of mm -hmm. Town Cook Baptist Association yes. or something like that. Mm -hmm. That's all I could Imagine. think of. Yes. Never. Mm -hmm. But God's way are different from ours, definitely. And one surprise any believer should expect is you never know. You see, God, that God, and sometimes I get very upset with God because He never tells you the whole thing. Yeah. He only shows you. Uh, peace bill uh, as you go you see and it always reminds me the hymn lead kindly light mm -hmm. which is also Gandhiji's favorite hymn mm -hmm. I heard you see lead one step at a time mm -hmm. why do you want light a mile away from you True. you can't jump that far mm -hmm. all you need is a light for the next step mm -hmm. if we accept that in life God is there always mm -hmm. to show you. Mm -hmm. But very often, we want to be ahead of God. Mm -hmm. And today, people today, today I read all the time, mm -hmm. with all this L, B, G, Q, G, oh, yes. are the most mm -hmm. horrible things mm -hmm. ever happening. Mm -hmm. I'm too bad that it happened mm -hmm. during my lifetime. Mm -hmm. This is tearing apart mm -hmm. theologians, Christian, non-Christian, all over, all over the world, mm -hmm. and uh, it, it just isn't. Mm -hmm. We need to get back to the basics. Mm -hmm. In other words, now the Nagas have become pretty illiterate mm -hmm. in in the scripture. Scripturally, we are illiterate, mm -hmm. and the church need to emphasize on a Sunday school program. Mm -hmm. Our children mm -hmm. need to be taught because it's this basics mm -hmm. in the beginning, mm -hmm. God. Mm -hmm. We have to start from that. True. Only then, things can begin to shape, take their shape. True. But we are saying, in the beginning, we, we become, God is not the creator anymore. Yeah. Men have become creator. They want to be creators. True. So, mm -hmm. that's why a man shows up and says, I'm a woman. Yeah. See, anything, what you think is what you are. Mm -hmm. you cannot be. Yes. No. No. That's, a very, that's a very interesting observation. I think it will be nice to spend time with you again on that separately. However, um, before we end this conversation, when it comes to Naka political problems, you have been there since, since your youth days until today. This problem has persisted. And you have been with, probably witnessing that since your youth days until today. So what would you advise the Naga population as well as the underground workers in you know, particular what would your suggestion be in order to um, really you know, benefit the Nagas and bring unity among the Nagas? Well, I think, uh, yeah, that, that's the saddest thing. I was talking about it this morning itself. Mm -hmm. It's um, uh, the fall lies with us, with me, mm -hmm. Nagas. We could have found a solution mm -hmm. long ago, mm -hmm. you see. And because you don't think in terms of all. See, when you start thinking in terms of sectional interests, mm. your own mm. interests, mm. you see, uh, then things will not. But I think basically you talk about Christian faith among the Nagas today. Mm. In, the Nagas have become very lukewarm. Okay? 
and the spiritual awakening need to take place. Because um, you see, in between Burma and India, their military strength, they are giants, yeah. both sides, very strong. Absolutely. What can the Nagas do yeah. with their mind? Absolutely. I mean, with AK-47, mm -hmm. what can we accomplish? True. Forget it. Yeah. You will make it. But we can make it, we say we have right, we can make it with God. Mm -hmm. Yes, I read the scripture. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, obey me. Mm -hmm. Do the right thing. Do what I say mm -hmm. you should do. Mm -hmm. Keep. And I will fight for you. Whenever Israelis listen to God, God will fight for them. Mm. Through various means. Mm -hmm. Fear, sometimes plain fear mm -hmm. in the heart. Mm -hmm. People just ran away. Mm -hmm. People, they shake nature, natural disaster. God could do anything mm -hmm. you want to. Mm -hmm. you know? And I've been pleading all the time, Christ must be at the peace conference. Mm -hmm. He should be seated. Forget about it. And I believe that is why. But our hearts, as Isaiah said, these people are close to me with their lips. Mm. But their hearts are very far from me. This is what is happening. Mm -hmm. And when people talk about fasting and prayer, it doesn't mean anything to me anymore. True. See, because after fasting and prayer, you go and shoot. Mm -hmm. You go and hurt somebody. You go and cheat. You go and extort. Mm -hmm. All right? So what is the value of prayer? Why do we pray at all? Mm -hmm. We pray because we want to involve God mm -hmm. to help us. Mm -hmm. How can God listen to that? Mm -hmm. Because if you listen to that kind of prayer, you yourself wouldn't accept mm -hmm. the credit. So this is the real situation at this point. Mm -hmm. At this point. And I have shared all of these with uh, underground people. Mm. You know, I've had problems with some of these underground people mm. in my life too. Mm. Because for saying they're wrong, mm. they shouldn't kill, they shouldn't do this, they shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. Because it c cannot, as, yes. I, as I say, be, and they think I'm against them. Mm. I said all this because I'm for them. Mm. I want them to win. Mm -hmm. And I say God has to be there. I want God to be with you, with you, you see. But in order for God to be with you, you've got to reform yourself. Mm -hmm. You've got to change the lifestyle. Mm -hmm. Your heart must change. Mm -hmm. God must be given the chance to work through you. The Holy Spirit must give us the power. That's what the Bible says. Yeah, yeah. It's the Spirit that gives the power, I not think, weapon. I think I remember that. You wrote an article, The Confession. Yeah, in the early 2000s, and which caused somehow a lot of um, uproar among well, our national workers. That's as the well. first time yeah. I was tried yeah. in the court. <laughs> oh, cool! Of all that, mm -hmm. of all place, and that's a history. But did you regret writing that? Oh no, no, oh no, because I felt it was God who was who wanted me to write. Mm -hmm. I will write again, mm -hmm. except in my hopefully better, mm -hmm. definitely. Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely, oh yeah. It's there, it's there in my, it, you young people, the I future generation yeah. will read all this for and against later on. Yeah. So many articles came up right. afterwards. Right. There, most of them are in my autobiography, mm. by the way. So, the uh, Tunkul people, mm. people who wrote again on my trials day, mm. uh, that's uh, Sanko youth group, um, this long and that long, mm -hmm. they all wrote against me and that they will write, they will read their own writing there. Mm -hmm. I can, I have preserved for them. I have, I have, I have come across and I have read a lot of it and so, it's so, interesting. So, so, it, anyway, yeah, anyway. It, it still is there, mm -hmm. St still is there. Mm -hmm. uh, Nagas should be united, okay? They know Absolutely. if they're not united, it won't succeed. True. Uh, number two. And, and uh, they should, whoever speaks up, speaks for all, not for half of it, or part of Naga Absolutely. society for all, Absolutely. okay? And they should all, for the integrated 
territory. All the, you see, contiguous area must be indicated. That's the only way we can talk about freedom. Mm -hmm. I see something was written this morning. I was reading all these uh, independent speeches. Yes. Of course, rehash most of them. They keep repeating the same thing again. Make sure they will do the same thing. But unless we change our heart, whether the church and the church need to speak up, Mm. Actually, mm -hmm. the church needs to speak up, but I guess uh, the church also has lost that prophetic voice. I think that's part of the problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Prophetic means yeah. the church speaks for God, mm -hmm. not for man. Yeah. I mean, the church say, "Thou art the one." Just like Nathan the prophet, mm -hmm. okay, went to Delhi, such a powerful king, without any fear, fearing only God. You are the one mm -hmm. who killed that you lamb. True. What are you talking about? Mm -hmm. Say right to his nose. What? Well, how? What? Well, that's a tremendous. That remains a source of inspiration mm -hmm. to me. Mm -hmm. What Absolutely. if he didn't say that to him? David could have died in sin, mm -hmm. but he repented and became much greater through the intervention that's, of the prophet. That's right. Because yeah. mm -hmm. so the prophet should remain prophet. The church pastor must remain as pastor. Mm. You see, this, yeah, they, should, they should remain prophetic. Mm -hmm. As someone says, a church that is not prophetic mm. becomes pathetic. <laughs> and today, mm. most of the churches are pathetic. True. They don't, I what I they agree. say do not mean anything. I you agree. don't. You say, oh, what are you talking about? Yeah, you see, mm. you don't practice what you preach. Mm -hmm. So don't come and tell me. Mm -hmm. I know who you are. Mm -hmm. I know who you are. And that's a sad part of it. Mm -hmm. The Lord knows the Lord cannot honor. The, the Lord is dying to help us, mm -hmm. to grant Naga's autonomy mm -hmm. they need. Mm -hmm. you know. So I keep praying every day, Lord, don't give what the Naga's are asking for. Mm -hmm. But, and, and what, what the, don't give what the Delhi is trying to impose upon the Nagas either. Yeah. But give the Nagas what they need. Mm. You know what they need. Yes. You know yes. what we need. Yes. Give us. Mm -hmm. If we need autonomy, what kind of autonomy mm. we need? Lord, mm. give us that one. Mm -hmm. Forget about it. And certainly there will be people, thousands of people like your servant, praying for this. Mm. Listen, please listen. Mm -hmm. and frustrate all the mistakes being made. Yeah. Don't listen to, destroy it, frustrate it. Mm. Don't let them fulfill. Mm -hmm. But listen to the prayers of your people. Mm. That 7,000 Nagas who have not bowed before Baal. Mm -hmm. See? Right. Surely, Lord, you should listen to that and listen and give the Nagas what they need. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So, it's been an interesting story, mm -hmm. and it's been interesting thoughts that you have shared. Thank you, Ramsam. So, um, I enjoy talking to you, Uncle. Thank you. Yeah, we'll talk again Love if time us. permits. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.